Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey with the JX Fight Club in Shanghai, China. Thanks for watching. Today we have a question from our friend Gary Cole, who has a question about savate, the French martial art kickboxing style. And he says, Ramsey, do you think a combination of boxing and savate would be good for MMA or street fighting or self-defense? Because a lot of people say that savate technique is not as good as, say, Taekwondo kicks or Muay Thai technique. What do you think? Okay, good question. And I'm going to answer this question with a story. I have a, a new student, fairly new student, who is a little guy from Greece, and he is a black belt in Aikido. And he's been coming to class pretty regularly, and we, we do a lot of sparring in class, MMA sparring. And I was watching him spar the other day, and while sparring, he actually pulled off one of those really cool-looking Aikido throws that you never see in real life. That was kind of shocking because, you know, that's the sort of thing you only see in demos and Steven Seagal movies. And I talked to him after class, and I, I mentioned it, and he said, yeah, the thing with Aikido is it only works when you already know how to fight, which is why I'm taking this class, to learn how to fight so that I can use my martial art. I thought about it for a minute. Wow, that's, that's kind of brilliant. If you think about it, all those, all those different styles, I get a lot of questions like, does Tai Chi work in a fight? Does Wing Chun work in a fight, etc. And the, answer's, the answer is pretty simple. If you know how to fight, yeah, it all works in a fight. And if you don't know how to fight, if you don't know the, the basic rules of engagement of physical combat, if you don't know how to use your body, if, you, if you're not athletic, then no, nothing's going to work. And you can say the exact same thing about Savat. Now, I've actually trained with quite a few saboteurs, uh, savate fighters um, from France and other parts of Europe. They've, they've come and traveled here to, to China, and, um, and uh, some of them are actually really good. There's this one guy, he, he, works, as a, he works on airlines, he's a, a flight attendant, and uh, comes to Shanghai every few months to, to train. He's a saboteur, and I spar with him, and he's, he's really good. Um, and I'm sure there are plenty of guys who practice sabat who are unathletic and not good fighters, and that's true of every single martial art. You take the best martial art system in the world and you know, put people who are not athletes, who don't train properly in that style, they're going to suck. Now, what makes sabat kicks different from, say, Taekwondo kicks or Muay Thai kicks? I would say they're a lot more like Taekwondo kicks. As it was explained to me by one of my, my French uh, sabat um, practitioners, um, he said in Savat, you are allowed to kick with the foot, not with the shin. And so throwing one of those Thai round kicks with the shin is illegal in Savat. It's not something they practice. And so leg kicks is not something you're going to see a great deal of with the instep. Same with Taekwondo. You're not going to see instep kicks to the leg because, man, that can, that can mess up your feet. Especially if somebody shin checks you there, it'll shatter everything, right? But we have seen a ton of sabat technique in mixed martial arts, specifically the oblique kick, you know, side kicks and hook kicks and, and uh, round kicks, instep kicks to the head, like round snap kicks, you know, right under the chin, right behind there. Those, those are good techniques, right? It doesn't always have to be a shin kick to the head. I mean, great if it is, but, you know, that instep kick up here gives you a little bit of extra reach. Now there is a downside to that. You know, I, I do use that instep snap kick to the head quite a bit. I had a fight in Shandong province, that's, uh, that's north of Shanghai, um, and it was a K1 fight, and I, I did one of those instep snap round kicks to the guy's head, and I remember I felt my instep collide with his cheekbone. And, you know, I, I landed the head kick, it was cool, got a cool picture of it, but afterwards my foot was really, really sore, so, you know, that's, that's one you want to use sparingly, I'd recommend, you know, use the shin when you're kicking hard stuff as much as possible, right? But, you know, all those heel kicks, the oblique kick, the stomp kicks, the push kicks, the side kicks, that sort of thing, you know, great technique. And the great thing about Savat is that it's, it's a live art. It's a live combat sport, meaning 
They practice it live, they get in the ring, they fight for real. So even with the rules and restrictions, they do fight for real. And as long as you're doing that, you're going to be really honest about what your martial art is. And like I always say, martial arts is about one thing, and one thing only, and that is the pursuit of the truth. And the truth is, does your technique work, or does it not? And we find that out really, really quick as soon as we get into the ring. So hey, thanks for your question. I'll get out there and train.